up, how's they doing? Welcome to Bonnie Scotland. It's a second uh, annual trip up to the Scottish Highlands. Uh, we've pretty much just replicated last year's trip. We stopped at the Falls of Fallock, which were just too much water, just a white out, too much spray. So we quickly packed up again. We've come to Lochaw and Kilchurn Castle, which hopefully you can maybe see in the background behind me. I'm just trying to find some reflections. There's a bit too much wind as there was last year, but I found a little corner here but I wade through some deep mud and uh, hopefully you can see that uh, I've got this rock in the foreground uh, and then a little bit of reflection before there's the sort of busier water out deeper into the lock. Uh, these reeds, are, I think they're acting as a bit of a, a, bit of a break for the, for the waves. Uh, and then the castle in the background. So we'll have to focus stack as always with, with these things. That rock's only about four foot, five foot in front of my lens, um, showing at sort of F11, F9 maybe. And uh, the lights, light keeps changing in fact it looks like some more rains on its way in so we might have to make a move and uh, get on with uh, get on with things quick I'm hoping you can hear me over this raging torrent of water. So we're at the classic, classic shop, the waterfall shop at Bukaletti Moor. Again, forgive me for my Gaelic uh, pronunciation. The last time I were here, even with photographers, in fact the whole place is just a famously a big muddy mess. There's so many people come and get this classic shot. We managed to find ourselves on the zone, there's just us three, just the three camera wankers. And uh, yeah, I've managed to get that off a, a quick shot. I've gone with a few different uh, Exposure times, a few different shutter speeds, uh, get that nice silky blurred water. I started at one sixth of a second, tried half a second, and to be honest, one second and two second, but they're going to be, I think, two. They're going to be uh, too blurred and too whited out. Uh, to be honest, see, with this place, it's just a case of getting plonked. You're not going to get a composition that hasn't been done before, but uh, you make the most of what you've got.
So as next stop is we've uh, we've driven down the Skyfall Road or Glen Ateve to give it its proper name, following the River Ateve. Um, towards the bottom there's a bridge which isn't picturesque in the slightest. It's a modern bridge. It's just been repaired actually. A lot of the uh, civil engineering work's going on, but it does give you access to both sides of the bank. Uh, what I've done is I've, I've framed up a shot of this tree. I've used the curve of the branch because it, I know it man, uh, mirrors the sort of curve of the the mountain at the head of the glen uh, and it, it hopefully it, uh, it, it looks good as a composition we've also got this waterfall giving us a sort of s bend coming in from the right to left uh, and then from the left the river flows off into the right hand corner there's uh, again too much water though the, the, the massively heavy rain has just uh, yeah put paid to any anything other than really just white water but uh, yeah uh, another one to tick off the list new location oh yeah if it's any good, as always, I'll put the picture up now. It's day two and it's looking like it's going to be a bit of a drizzly day, wet day. Hit and miss really. I don't think we're going to see any sunshine, any breaks in the clouds like we saw yesterday. Although so far it's uh, defied the forecast and only been the lights to showers. We'll see, see what we get. Uh, first stop, just 10 minutes from Fort William where we're staying. We've come to Carpack, the beach. The, uh, the old boat wreck, the shipwreck. Ben Nevis in the background, which has got some snow on top of it, but there's no chance of getting a shot, I don't think, of the snow, not, not the peak anyway, shrouded in that low, low line cloud. Uh, so we'll do that and then plan his itinerary from there and just make the most of it. You can see us find ourselves back in Glencoe again, which is uh, no hardship because uh, it's photogenically so, so good there. So yeah, let's see what the day brings.
Well, I don't think any of us were expecting uh, to get anything today. We haven't really had any colour in the sky, but it's sunset and a uh, fairly dismal rainy day, as I mentioned earlier. And we've come, like we did last year, for sunset at Castle Stalker. And I'm disappointed, really. OK, there's no colours, as I just said, but there's some really dramatic clouds behind it. Silhouetted against them. That last light in the sky. Yeah, it's really good. It's a lovely place to be. This time the tide's out. Last time um, there, there were just too much water, so you couldn't get the old railway tracks. So I've taken a shot like that and then just moved a few yards further down the beach. Just trying to get some uh, reflections in between the seaweed. And uh, yeah, it's beautiful. Just starting to see town. Some of the town's lights coming on now on the other side of lock. And uh, yeah, just capture a few images. The boys are getting theirs. Yeah, and then it's to the pub. Or maybe even for an Indian. I lose track. The plans keep changing.
So the third day slowly coming to an end. Uh, we're about 10 minutes away from sunset. We're at the side of the road at Klakaken Bridge. Sliggaken. You see, I'm trying. I'm trying my best to pronounce it. Um, we've got the Black Cullin Mountains behind us. Uh, and I found myself, I'm almost doing a repeat of last year's trip. Got the reflections. The guys are sort of behind and around me. We're all fighting for position. Um, and we've even got a wedding going on. Uh, some wedding photography, which is uh, interesting. So I think she's going to get a wedding dress filthy, that's for sure. Just getting that symmetry of the reflection. There's a few grasses in the water that gives a little bit of uh, interest in the foreground. And just keeping an eye on that sky and hoping it lights up. Mm -hmm.